One, the world's first railway ticket was issued on the Stockton and Darlington Railway, which opened in 1825. The ticket belonged to the railway's engineer, George Stevenson. The ticket was for a journey from Stockton to Darlington, and it cost one shilling. It was made of paper, and it had a handwritten note on it that said, First passenger on the Stockton and Darlington Railway. The ticket is now on display at the National Railway Museum in York. Two, the Severn Tunnel, which connects England and Wales under the Severn Estuary, is the longest mainline railway tunnel in the UK at 4.62 miles, 7.45 kilometres long. It was completed in 1886 and remains a critical part of the railway network. 3. King's Cross Station's name is derived from a monument called King's Cross, which was erected in 1830 to honour King George IV. The monument, an unpopular structure, was demolished in 1845. 4. The highest railway station in England is Dent Station, located on the Settle Carlisle line at an elevation of 1,150 feet, 350 metres above sea level. 5. The West Highland Line in Scotland features the UK's most remote railway station, Corra. It is only accessible by train or a 10-mile, 16 kilometres walk and has no public road access. 6. The closed Great Central Railway Line from London Marylebone to Sheffield, Victoria, was the last mainline railway to be constructed in Britain until the high-speed one, HS1 line, was built in the early 2000s. The Great Central Railway was designed to be part of a high-speed route to the European mainland, but the plan never materialised. 7. The world's oldest continuously running passenger train service is the Mersey Rail Wirral Line between Birkenhead and Liverpool, which began operating in 1830 under the name Liverpool and Manchester Railway. 8. The Metropolitan Railway was the world's first underground railway. It opened on the 10th of January 1863, running from Paddington to Farringdon. The railway was built to relieve congestion on the streets of London, and it was an immediate success. The first day of service saw over 30,000 passengers use the railway. 9. The Liverpool and Manchester Railway was also the scene of the first railway passenger fatality, when William Huskisson was hit by a train and killed. Huskisson was a British politician who was on his way to attend a meeting of Parliament when he was hit by the train. His death was a major shock to the public, and it led to calls for safety measures to be put in place on railways. 10. Paddington Station was designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel, one of the most famous engineers of the Victorian era. He was also the designer of the Clifton Suspension Bridge and the Great Western Railway.